Hi, Wendy Hinman here with The Daily Hope. We are in Jeremiah 12 today. And in the first 11 chapters, Jeremiah has been called by God into his big mission. And he's given his part in God's big plan for his people. But Jeremiah has had to contend with idolatry, pastors who are in it just for themselves, God's people who evoke God's name, and yet they do the opposite of God's character and will. And so in chapter 12, we see Jeremiah a little discouraged. And it reminded me of when I go hiking. We, we get out a map, we plan the hike. Um, but then when we actually start the hike and our lungs start to strain and our legs are figuring out the trail, and we have this idea, we, we have this thought, is this a good idea? Should we be doing this? But then you get into a rhythm and you focus on the summit and not on your lungs or your hiking companions, but on the purpose that you've set. And I think this is where Jeremiah is very much like this. He's got He's gotten a little off because he starts with, you are always righteous, Lord, when I bring a case before you. So that's a good start. Yet I would speak with you about your justice. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? And here, Jeremiah is focusing on the wrong thing. He's starting to focus on the people around him. And he's starting to think that they're doing better than he is. And then God comes in with this big challenge. And John has challenged me on hikes the same way. If you think this is bad, that's basically what God is saying to Jeremiah. He says, if you have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out, how can you compete with horses? If you stumble in safe country, how will you manage in the thickets of Jordan? So Jeremiah comes with this complaint, Lord, it's so hard. And God says, oh, you think this is hard? You think it was hard when the people in your hometown were threatening to kill you because you were speaking my word? Wait till you get to Jerusalem. That's running with horses. It's going to get even sketchier than what you're in now. And so then God challenges Jeremiah to, to really look at his justice, to really look at his righteousness. And God is going to say to him, you can do it. You can do it, but you have to, you have to lay aside your ego and your wounding from people not accepting you. And you have to realize that I, that God accepts you. God accepts me. And then you have to look at what is the mission that I have put you on. Focus on that. This reminds me of uh, in John 21, where uh, Jesus reinstalls Peter in right standing, in, in fellowship, after he's denied him. And Jesus, uh, or Peter, excuse me, says, says but Lord, what about him? And he points to John. And Jesus basically says, what has that got to do with you? You follow me. And that's, that's the same thing God is telling Jeremiah here. Don't worry about the wicked. Don't worry about what you think is happening with them. Because I'll tell you what's going to happen to them. He's, you know, he tells them, uh, they will sow wheat, but reap thorns. They will wear themselves out, but gain nothing. So God is telling Jeremiah, it's not what you think, Jeremiah. You focus on me and you do your part in my big mission. And then the promise comes at the end. If the people listen to Jeremiah's word and they look to God, it says, then they will be established among my people and God will have compassion on them. And that's what we need to do. We need to not worry about so much people out in the world and our hiking companions, but we need to, or our own lungs, but we need to know we are enough with God and God is enough. And he has given us a part in his big mission. And that's what we need to focus on today, 
knowing that God will bring it to pass. So don't look to the left, to the right, what this guy's doing, what that guy's doing. Get into the book of Jeremiah and see what your own calling is. Focus on his big mission and he will get us to the summit and do great things. God bless you.